Namaste and welcome back to Grow the Jan Family. I'm Anjali. And today we're going to be reacting to The School Bag. So this is um, a short film and it's been on a request list for quite some time. So Anjali and I are going to do it today. So let's start it up, Anjali. Yes. <laughs> आपके लिए खाना लगा दें नहीं अबे खाना तो हम खा के आए हैं और बहुत सारा केक भी खाया कल आपकी भी तो सालगिरह है हम हम भी आपके पसंद का खाना बनाएंगे सच्चो मीठा सेवैया भी बनाओगे हां फारूक जरूर बनाएंगे अच्छा ये पता है आज सुबह किसका फोन आया था किसका आपका अब्बू <laughs> क्या बोल रहे थे कह रहे थे कि हम लोग शाम को तातारा पार्क जाएंगे घूमने कल ये ठीक है अब जल्दी से कपड़े बदल लें और हाथ मुंह धो लें हाँ ये लीजिए फारूक फारूक आ रहे अम्मी आज फिर आपकी किताब फटी हुई है हर हफ्ते इन पर जिल चढ़ाना पड़ता है आप संभाल के क्यों नहीं रखते आप अपनी कोई भी चीज सलीके से नहीं रखते हमारा आधा वक्त आपकी चीजों को ठीक करने में ही जाया अम्मी तो फिर कैसे फट जाती है रोज आप बड़े हो गए ना थोड़ी समझदारी दिखाया करें चलिए इसको छोड़िए क्या नाम है इसका क्या नाम है इसका बटिस्टा हम्म क्या बटिस्टा तो उस पर हमको एक नया बस्ता चाहिए हमने आपको दिखाया था ना बाजार में वो वही वाला कौन सा हमें तो याद नहीं अब मैं अब बहाने में आ रही है अब पिछली बार भी आपने हमको कुछ नहीं दिलाया था अच्छा पिछली बार साइकिल कौन लेके आया था अबू ने दिलवाया था क्या पर बस तो तो नहीं दिलाया था ना मेरे ला दीजिए ना प्लीज आप ये सारी फरमाइशें अपने अबू से क्यों नहीं करते हाँ और अबू तो स्कूल के बाद आएंगे और हमें कल ही नहीं बस ना लेकर जाना अच्छा चलिए हटिए बहुत सारे काम है फिर नमाज का भी वक्त हो रहा है चलिए उठाइए उसको हमने यहाँ बस दिला दीजिए वरना हम अबू से शिकायत कर देंगे अच्छा तो आप अब हमारी शिकायत अबू से करेंगे बस्ता हम दिलवाए और आपका सारा प्यार अबू को नहीं अम्मी ऐसा नहीं है फिर 
अब तो आपका बस्ता कल आपके अबू ही लेकर आएंगे बंद हो जाएगा बस जाएंगे फारूक जिद नहीं करते नया दिला कल स्कूल नहीं जाएंगे फारूक बेटा उठिए वरना देर हो जाएगी फारूक 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 बेटा अम्मी से बात नहीं करेंगे अपनी सालगिरह पे भी नहीं आप हमसे प्यार नहीं करते ऐसी बात नहीं है बेटा चलिए बाहर आ जाइए हम हम आपसे बात नहीं कर रहे अरे वाह ये तो वही वाला बैग है परेशान करते हैं ना नहीं बेटा माशाल्लाह आज हमारा बेटा सात साल का हो गया अल्लाह उसे नजरे बंद से बचा है अच्छा चलिए देर हो गई अब से कभी देर नहीं होएगी अम्मी कभी देर नहीं होएगी मैं आपकी सारी बात मानूंगा अच्छा पक्का
office. I love it on me. अरे वफारू नहीं बसता हाँ हमारी अम्मी जानने दिला है गुड मॉर्निंग सर गुड मॉर्निंग फारूक आज बड़े खुश दिखाई दे रहे हैं आप हमारी सालगिरह है ना ओ सालगिरह की मुबारक हो थैंक यू नया बैग हमारी अम्मी ने दिलाया है So now that Anjali and I have somewhat pulled ourselves together, um, not what we were expecting when the title said the school bag. No. Not at all. Um, what we were expecting, you know, the good 12, 13 minutes of it is the little boy coming home, telling his mom about his friend's birthday party and that his birthday's coming, he wants the bag his new backpack and you know and there she you know she gets it for him and they're you know being silly for he was acting like like Jaden you know in the morning trying to get him ready for school sometimes like I don't want to go or I don't want to do this if or you give me a toy and then I'll think about it kind of stuff um 
that's what it reminded me of, of Jaden. Like, you know, he's six years old. This little boy was seven, you know, just that I don't want to go to school, you know, unless you, you know, give me a special treat in my lunch or a special school bag or, you know, she was helping him wrap the books. I feel like I'm always taping papers that Jaden's bringing home that he ripped out of pages. But I try. Even, you know, Angie doesn't always want to get up in the morning and trying to get them out the door on the bus sometimes is a little bit hard to do. Um, but I try to make sure that I tell them I love them before they go. You know, you never know what's going to happen. So, got to live for today. Make sure, you know, tell those people you care about them. Don't fight and leave. Because this stuff happens, unfortunately, all the time. <sighs> but it also makes me angry. And this part of this is, you know, we've been doing these videos about, you know, hate and the cycle of hate. And, you know, this story is from Pakistan. The, the mom and the son are Muslims and they're getting terrorized by other Muslims. And that... You know, and these these people in the story are the peaceful majority and they're getting terrorized by their own people. And it's like this cycle of hate that never seems to be ending. Somebody needs to break it. Somebody needs to find some answers and stop, you know, supporting these terrorists because not only are they going outside and hurting other people, you know, we just did the attacks of 2611, they are hurting their own and so if the majority doesn't speak out against this horrendous you know activities these terrorist activities if people are not speaking out about it are not speaking against it it's never gonna stop and it needs to you know we have you know one person gets angry and they go get a gun you know and they try to shoot people here it ends pretty quickly it shouldn't happen at all but not everybody is mentally stable these people are trained to kill others for because they don't believe the same thing that they believe like they went in there you know children children children. This should not be happening. The majority needs to speak out. There, We need to stop terrorism and it needs to start somewhere. So everybody needs to get on their pedestal and stand together. The peaceful majority needs to stand together and we need to stop this terrorism because this should not be happening. Children, you know, you want to fight with somebody, you want to start a war with somebody, you go up against their military, their defense, their... And if you can't, then you shouldn't. You don't stab people in the back and come around their way. That just makes you a coward. So we need to end terrorism and it needs to start now. So now I'm off my step stool there. Um, did you want to add anything, Angie? I know this was very sad to watch because... So yeah, it's sad that people like go out like everyday shops and stuff and they just can't go out without thinking about like terrorists, without thinking about what's going to happen to them. Like this is why like I'm pretty sure parents don't let their kids go out on everyday things because of this stuff. And it's sad that we can't do that and we can't go out without thinking about this stuff. Right. Yeah, being a kid, you shouldn't be afraid to go to school. Yeah. Right? Or, you know, parents shouldn't be afraid to let you go out and play. You know, back in the day, you could go play in the street and come home when it was dark. Now, mm -hmm. you can't really do that. Now, you're afraid to go to the movie theaters or, mm -hmm. you know, to any, you know, shopping. You know, here, it's like a one-person, usually, kind of thing, but... You know, this was probably more than one person going in. You know, this was like a terrorist activity. This is stuff that shouldn't happen. And yeah, as a kid, you shouldn't have to prepare for these kind of things, right? Yeah. 
children your age, even Jaden, has to go hide and do lockdown drills because people bring guns to school here. You know, that's the kind of thing, the fear. You shouldn't be afraid to go to church or temple or a mosque. You shouldn't be afraid to go to school. Yeah. You shouldn't be afraid to go out of your house because there are these terrorist activities going on around you. This is not okay, you know? And I know there's been a few comments um, that you guys worry about Anjali. And, you know, we want her to be aware of this stuff. We want her to have the knowledge, About what's happening around the world. Yeah, exactly. You need to know. So, unfortunately, this stuff happens, so we need to prepare for it and make sure there's a plan either at school, there's a plan at home, you know, what happens you know, if you're out, where do you go? You know, I go to these places now that I've heard of, there have been shootings, and I think, you know, where is the nearest exit? If somebody came in right now, where am I taking the children to? How fast can I get? And I think of there's some shops that are just so open that there would be no place to hide. And that scares me going in there with all three children shopping, you know, even with my husband. It's it's not an easy thing and yeah you guys unfortunately it breaks my heart that we need to share this with you but you're old enough to understand and also be aware that these horrible things do happen and we want you to to be safe yeah because we love you so i hope you like this video don't forget to subscribe and join our wonderful family we'll see you tomorrow, tomorrow. Bye. bye